Yeah, how do fetuses travel? I don't know. <laughs> Does it affect them? <laughs> I don't know. No, I think it was a, a hard piece of sort of narrative to land because obviously it's the most kind of extraordinary, outlandish bit of the story. And to see this pretty sort of uh, rational man having to engage with that. I think the, the, the route through was to really root it in the relationship and the, and the characters and the emotion of it, you know, what it would be like, the sort of the as if of uh, someone coming back to you with that story and what, how you would really deal with that. Yeah. Actually, in that moment, it's not, um, I don't think it's a particularly period moment. It's not about the sort of sexual dynamics of the 1940s. That, I think, is something rawer and more primal. It, it's a man engaging with the really feral thing of uh, the woman he loves, her body being occupied by another man's child. That's really kind of animal. And I think, so that's what it's plugging into. Um, I think it feels more about that, it feels, yeah more ancient, you know, that kind of, well, as, as, that, as that dawns on him. Yeah, and that's the nub of it, because it's, yeah, it's primal. Not at all, I mean, because in a way it's not a huge concern of mine. Um, I'm not in it f uh, uh, to, be, to be popular, really. Uh, I'm in it for the work. I completely believe that a show where Jamie and Claire just had a lovely time all the time would be an unwatchable show. You know, every show needs its pepper, it needs its obstacles. And obviously, um, you know, Jack particularly is one of the great obstacles. It's a, it's a fantastic and a part and, you know, it's so enjoyable. Thank you.